Hey guys, my greetings are sent to you from wherever you are. So today I wanted to talk about a material that is being purchased. All right. So first of all, I'm gonna try to create a scenario for you how this works. So let's go, my guy. So now this is the example. I'm gonna give an example by naming some companies. So let's say Dave, a company named Dave. Okay, as a company that makes some material. In this case, I'm talking about steel or metals in general. So now, here is the customer named Junior. So new Junior goes to this company named Dave and then he says, listen, my man, I would like to get a material. I'd like to get a 13 chrome moly, 13 chrome moly for dash five. All right. So he purchased the material from Dave. So Junior want to make sure if the material that he purchased from Dave is actually the right material. So what he does is knowing, like Junior and Dave, they both know that for 13 chrome moly, for dash five, the MPA need to be what I'm talking. The MPA I'm talking about the tensile, the tensile test, UTS. The UTS need to be between 440 to 590 MPA. We all know that MPA is the unit of pressure, which is equal to one MPA is equal to one newton per a millimeter squared. So then you want that, and then he was also the carbon of his material to be between 0 0.1 to 0 0.17 percent right for carbon and then as we know 13 chrome moly has a high percentage of chromium and then you want his chromium to be between 0 0.1 0 0.7 to 1.5 percent and the same for moly wants a high percentage of moly so now what junior does is for him to make sure that Dave gave him the right material. So he's gonna go to a mechanical testing company or a metallurgical testing company. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna go to these guys, he's gonna go there and then he says, listen, I have this material of mine, right? So I'd like you guys to do some tests. A man which, a man which I want you to do tensile test, which is for determining the UTS elasticity right that's all it and some other few stuff so he wants the company to also determine the toughness test to do the, uh, to do chappy test which is for determining the toughness the toughness all right and then he wants to do chemical test because he wants to determine the percentage of the element that contains his material as said by Dave all right so Dave can be from China it can be a local company it can be a international company all right so here is how it comes then here can you just close the so here's how it comes so here is the test for UT, I mean, here is the tensile test. So, here is the sample that has been machined according to certain sizes as provided by a certain code of testing, whether it's a ISO code, whether it's ASME, whether it's AWS. All right, so let's go like that. So, it might be AWS, might be ISO, whatever it might be. So, he says this is he wants us to do that, he wants the company to do the test for him. So, this is for tensile test. So it goes and then the test is performed and then here it's how it comes. This is just an example to show you how it can be done. So previously it was marked so that you can get the elongation. As for the elongation, remember, the higher the percentage of elongation, the higher the percentage of elongation, the more ductile, the more ductile and elastic the material is so in this case is expecting it to be above 20 percent so we all know that if you want to get the percentage of elongation what you need to do is to take the 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 final extension minus the original extension over the original extension times hundreds so he gets that and then realizes that his result are 470 mpa for the for the tensile test, he's happy with that. The extension is good. Is above 20%. He's happy with that. So he says, I'm happy with that. 
So then he comes and says, okay, I want a tensile test. You will know, last time I showed how you can do tensile test, I mean chemical test. So you, you do that. Those are the spark that we sent to the sample, and then you can see they marked it there. So he realizes that the percentage in carbon is 0 0.15%. So he's happy with that. So he says, I'm happy. And then the chromium is good, the molybdenum is good. I'm happy. Then he comes, he says, okay, listen, I want to do toughness. I want to do chappy tests. Tensile, I mean, impact test, chappy test. So here, here's how it comes. So previously, I mean, we machine, they machine this one to 10 by 10 according to the specified testing code. So it goes 10 by 10 hours and according to the thickness of the material that was provided by Dave to Junior. So 10 by 10, so 10 millimeter day, 10 millimeter day, and then it's notch day in the middle. After that, I showed you how you can perform impact test. After that, he got his result. So here is his result. So he got 40 joules for the first sample, 44 for the second sample, and 50 joules, 50 joules for the third sample. So he says, I'm happy with that. So I'm happy. Uh, that's great. And then just for curiosity, so he wants and then perform also hardness testing, all right? Because in the spec, we don't, there's no provision for hardness testing, but just for curiosity, he goes and then perform the hardness testing. So he got his results. Let's say he got, uh, for instance, 187 HB, okay, hardness rock power B. Remember, I said it earlier somewhere. So the bigger the indent, the lower the hardness okay so the smaller the indent which means the harder the hardness all right so if the indent is bigger then the hardness is lower so if the indent is smaller then the hardness is harder all right and then as as for hardness test so if the sample is tougher which means it's less harder okay depending on the material that is being tested so here it goes so i think I shared what I had to share and then I, how, I hope that you guys like this video. So please, if you like it, just thumb up. And then, please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because we're going to be sharing a lot of stuff that will involve technology and uh, mechanical, metallurgy, whatever. It might be as long as it's related to technology. And uh, for now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourselves and uh, see you for the next video. Cheers. Bye.